So CGI Genie looked like he did in the trailer. That's why when people are like, well, there's time for them to fix the CGI in trailers, they don't. I've seen them fix CGI a couple times between the trailer and movie release, but generally that's what they have. As is the case with CGI Genie. So let's review Aladdin. Aladdin 2019. So Aladdin again. So this Aladdin is Disney's live action remake of Disney's animated classic Aladdin. It's directed by Guy Ritchie, which I thought was kind of a strange call. And then after watching the movie, I was like, that was kind of a strange call in parts. I almost feel like I don't have to describe what Aladdin's about. You know what Aladdin's about? We've all seen Aladdin, right? Come on, let's just save time and move on. Which is basically, I feel like what this movie did initially, like the first act of this movie kind of set my tone while I was watching it. Cause the first act just, it's really fast. It just blows by everything. Not only does it montage through the setup, I feel like this movie is basically doing what I just did with you. It's assuming you know the story of Aladdin. I was just doing the song, Arabian night. And it's going through Agrabah. It totally montages right past the first guy who goes into the cave of wonders and dies. You see it, but it's like montage is right past it in the song, then ends up with Jasmine and she's already escaped the palace and she's hanging out in Agrabah with the commoners. It may seem logical to blow past those moments in the movie because hey, we all know who these people are. We all know how it went down, but those are character building moments. It sets up the world. It sets up the characters. It sets up some motivations. Even the Cave of Wonders doesn't talk like he does in the animation like, only one may enter here. Its mouth is just totally open. Just like, only one may enter here. It would have looked cool to have the live action Cave of Wonders actually move its mouth when it talks. I mean, I get it doesn't have to, it's magical. Even some of the acting with some of the extras, like just one dude in particular, I was like, Th that's gotta be a stage actor. Cause stage acting, you have to project and everything's more exaggerating because the people in the back need to hear you. This guy's talking like that. He's like, Aladdin of all the people in all the land, I see. I'm like, don't talk like that. It doesn't translate well to film. People don't talk like that in real life. So I felt like I was in for a mess with this movie. But when it gets down to it, Will Smith Genie, like I said, the CGI looks like it did in the trailer to me. So moving past that, it's really hard not to compare him to Robin Williams, Genie. Just like it's really hard to not compare this movie to the animation, because this is a translation of that, so you do have to compare them in some capacity. Will Smith does try to do his own thing, and when he does try to have that snappy dialogue, and it looks like he's having ad-lib moments, it doesn't really work out for me. I don't know if it was scripted or it is ad-lib. And then when he was Will Smith, which is when he drops the whole CGI Genie thing, and he's actually Will Smith, you know, the Will Smith on the cover of Entertainment Weekly that pissed people off. It's like, that's the genie, that's not the genie. He's actually quite charismatic because Will Smith is indeed charismatic. He and Aladdin actually do have chemistry together. I enjoyed him in that form. There's actually an unexpected side thing happening where the genie kind of has a crush on Princess Jasmine's handmaiden. And when he's talking with her, I, I was laughing when Aladdin's trying to impress Jasmine and he's bombing out and Will Smith genie is just like reacting to it. I was laughing. I was thoroughly entertained in those scenes. When the movie actually branches off and does its own thing, I enjoyed it. When it tries to emulate what happened before and it just does it in a way that's not as good or effective as the original animation. And by original, I mean the Disney animation. You know the story of Aladdin is older than the Disney animation. You know what I'm saying? The Disney animation just did that better. I did like some of the song and dance numbers in the capacity that like, I like seeing it come to life. CGI life. But it was cool. It was entertaining. It was good to see that stuff. Like, oh, it's a different form of it. But I feel like you can get that stuff on YouTube that doesn't make for a good movie. How was Hot Jafar? I, I mean, Hot Jafar was fine, but I'd like him when he's older, creepier Jafar. Like Iago talks, but Iago isn't really a character. He says a couple things, but like he had personality. Gilbert Gottfried's voice as Iago, I remember he was, he was a legit supporting character. In this movie, Iago says a couple things. Usually it's the obvious and it's like, He's not gonna stand out. He doesn't stand out at all. So why even have him talk? Also the climax of the original movie had like a time limit because Jasmine was trapped in an hourglass. It was like, oh, she's gonna die. Jafar turns into a big snake. That kind of intensity is not in this movie. I mean, there is an action scene that happens, but you don't feel like Jasmine's gonna suffocate and die in sand. So just the animation did it better. When Jafar is the sorcerer though, it shows that he has the ability to smack his staff on the ground and teleport anyone to him immediately. Point is, there was a part that would have been really advantageous for him to remember that he had that ability but I guess he just forgot. There were also some parts where it was like weirdly fast forwarding through some of the musical sequences. Instead of like, dun 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 Those are my moves. It was like, dun 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 It was just weird. It was, that was when I was like, Guy Ritchie, 
Was he the best call? So guys, in the end, this Aladdin live action movie, it is a mixed bag for sure. The movie and its editing and execution felt rushed. It felt like this movie was actually supposed to be a half an hour longer than it ended up being, which made it feel really rushed and really sloppy. But that's such a common gripe I have in Guy Ritchie movies these days. I guess that's just how he makes them. And it wasn't always in the editing. Sometimes it was in just the lines of dialogue and delivery. The lack of dramatic pause was baffling. They tried to take some of the themes of the animated Aladdin to deep levels it's like they dabbled a toe into the possibility of taking it deeper and they were like yeah it's I mean, we're dabbling. The spectacle was fun to see. I thought Will Smith worked as a genie. Of course, no one's gonna replace Robin Williams, but did he do well in his own right? Yes, especially when he's Will Smith rather than the blue CGI genie. I feel like it'd be fun for families to be like, all right, let's see how a different team will do it. But if anyone's going, okay, this live action Aladdin's two hours long, the animated one's about an hour and a half. So this live action one's 33% longer than the animated Aladdin. It doesn't add 33% content, weight, or gravity to anything or anyone. In a weird way, I am interested in Return of Jafar. Like if they make a sequel, it would be Return of Jafar, right? I remember that animation sucking. I saw it once when I was a kid, but even as a kid, I was like, eh, it's not that good. But if they do make a live action Return of Jafar, a sequel to this movie, I feel like they'd have more freedom to do their own thing because people aren't so attached to that. So they could actually make it pretty cool. In a weird way, I'm looking forward to the possibility of that happening. In the end, I will say live action Aladdin, probably a better time if you're drunk yeah now it's a party uh oh, comment section dude yep i've already looked online to see what people thought when they were at the premiere and it looks like everybody loves this movie more than i do so it might be a little brutal so if you like this video if you could push the like button that would help me out because you have been pushing the like button and it has been helping me out big time i appreciate you guys helping me out in a world of the youtube algorithm all right so the live action aladdin movie have you seen it what did you think about it whatever you thought comment below let me know and as always if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more click right here to see more